So in the previous video, we made the first half of the bearing. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're going to place a sketch down uh, on that front face right there. Um, I'll orientate myself. And again, we're gonna draw that point. Oh, I need to be on that center point. That point, six inch circle. And we're gonna extrude that one inches. We can see we have that bearing complete. Now we're going to come over to the assembly. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, insert my uh, gear and my bearing. Oh, let's bring that back. And what you're gonna see is these parts are not connected. So what I'm gonna do is just undo that motion that I did right there and redo that insert. And I'm gonna move my gear out of the way. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to fix this gear or the bearing, I'm sorry. And then I'm gonna to go to my revolve mate and I'm gonna choose this center uh, point of my bearing to the center point of my hole here. And I can green check mark that. So what we're gonna see now is my gear revolves around my bearing. Now I'm gonna insert my second set and green check mark, and I'm gonna pull up my bearing on this one. And what I wanna do, and again, if I was doing this uh, more exact, uh, actually, you know what, I'll do my gear. If I was doing this more exact, uh, now I'm gonna start with my bearing, I'll take that back. And I wanna line my bearings up. Actually, I'm doing this backwards. I'm going to go to my uh, revolve mate. I'm going to do that same uh, points on my center of my bearing to the center of my gear. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my right side view and I'm going to line my gears up. And I'm gonna gain perspective on this. So we can see I have my gears uh, lined up. If I go to my front view though, I want to drop them and mesh them. Now, if I was again doing this as part of a greater project, uh, not doing it in open space, uh, there'd be a lot more measurements and other things to get my axles to line up. But we can see that here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to this bearing here. Should be my part two, let's click here. Yep, my part two, and I'm gonna right click on this and fix this as well. So what you're gonna notice is my gears spin uh, independently of each other. So I'm gonna come up to my gear relation. I'm gonna choose my uh, Revolute one and my Revolute two, and I'm gonna make them um, basically a gear train here. So now that when I spin one, the other one spins in that opposite direction. So what I can do now is I can come to my Revolute here. I can right click on it and animate it. I wanna do zero to 360 degrees. I wanna do this in a loop and then I can play. And we can see that as my one gear spins, my other gear spins opposite in that gear train. And again, this is just a simple way to animate. You can animate any of your uh, assembly files 